So the first thing we want to do when we're working in Power BI and want to create some visualizations is we have to get our data in a Power BI. So if you go up here, you can see that there's different sources of uh, data that Power BI pulls in from. And there's a lot more too. But for the purpose of this podcast presentation, we're going to choose Excel. We have a financial sample already prepared. All right, it gives me some options here. I want financials. I'm going to select it. Over here, it's going to show me a little preview of my data. This way, I know it's exactly what I want. We'll select load. Now, while that's loading, let's talk about you do not have to worry about switching in between applications. The whole thing with Microsoft as one is that they do not want you to switch between applications and waste time. So how do you check your Excel data? You just go over here to the left. You can see a little Excel looking icon. Click it, and there you go. There is all of our data from the financial sheet that we just loaded. So let's click back out of it. Now over here, you can see that we have the column headers displayed. This is gonna show all of our data as well. There's different visualizations here inside Power BI, everything from a stacked bar chart to a pie chart, all the way back to a line and stacked column chart. All right, so we have our data pulled in. What do we do now? First, we start with something called a slicer. Or at least I like to start with something called a slicer. A slicer is basically a way to distinguish your data by a given, um, given column header, let's say. So I'm gonna select slicer first. You can see it shows up here. And how do I wanna do it? For this, I wanna do by and let's go with month name. Let's see our month name. Now, there's nothing we can really do with it now because we haven't had any other data uh, pulled into visualizations. So, we're going to click off that, and let's go with the stacked column chart. So, we'll select that. And what do we want to see in the stacked column chart? We want to see how about product and sale price. So you can see the product and the sale price for each one. You can see the sale is leading the way right now. All right, let's click off that. Let's add maybe a pie chart. Let's bring that over here. You can easily make these bigger, smaller, both charts any way that you want. Just grab, click, drag, and resize. And for the pie chart, we want to see, mm, let's do product and units sold. All right, we can clearly see the Paseo unit sold is 338,239.50, which is just over 30% of all units sold. So what happens if we want to see units sold in the month of April? Well, this is where the slicer comes in. We go up here to April, select it. You can see our charts have visibly moved. Montana is now the leading sale uh, product that's leading for sale price at 1600 The sale is still leading for units sold, but only at 23653 but still hovering right around that 30% mark of all products sold. All right, now you got your visualizations. Can you do anything else to them? What do you got to do? So let's just say we want to see sale price by country. So we select the visualization that we want. We click country. And now see a noticeable difference. Let me just extend this over here like this. Make it a little bit bigger for everybody to see. All right, you can see that Montana sale price is 300. Montana, Mexico sale price is 350. So there is some variance, which is really good to see. Perfect for visualizations. All right, we got our visualizations, but we're noticing that the colors don't line up with our brand's colors. How do we change it? Is it hard to change? Is it time consuming? The answer is no, not at all. We simply go over here to the paint roller icon, icon that's labeled format. We click it. Now we can go right down here to data colors and we can choose what color we want. Canada you can also add custom colors if you want, just, you know, as long as you have your, uh, 
colors mapped out for your for your brand. But for this, we can choose. I don't know. We can choose gray. There we go. France will choose black. Try to make it all a little bit darker just so we can notice the differences. Purple. And as you can see, it's completely changing. All right, so we have our visualizations. We have our data pulled into Power BI Desktop. What's next? Next is you save your data. <laughs> Always save your data. So we're going to call this Power BI Podcast Third Try. Working on it. Perfect. All right, we have our data saved. We have our data inside Power BI Desktop. But we don't take our laptop everywhere. What do we do? We want to be able to see it on our phone. So Power BI has um, Power BI Web Portal. What you want to do is you want to take this data and you want to publish it to your Power BI Web Portal. So go to PowerBI.com, set up your Web Portal. Once that's set up, you can then and connect it, and you can then publish your data to the Power BI Web Portal. We'll click Publish. We're going to publish this to my workspace. We'll click Select. It'll take, obviously, depending on how much data you have, uh, it'll change the amount of time that it takes to publish to the web portal. But generally, it's always pretty fast. You can see ours is already published. We have a success check mark. That makes us happy. So now let's go to our Power BI web portal. I was doing this before. So we want to go down here. And this is known as our workspace. You can see we have data sets, workbooks, and reports. So we want to go down here to our data set. And in our data set, this is where, since we don't need this, we can actually use the data that we have from Excel and choose and make different visualizations right inside Power BI. From there, we can create a report. And then from the report, we can choose what we want published to our to our um, dashboard. But since we already created our stuff in Power BI Desktop, it automatically creates a report for us. So let's go to Reports, Power BI Podcast, third try. Now this should, we don't need to save this, this should mimic exactly what we had in Power BI. And there it is. And you can change the slicer any way that you want. Okay, so we've got it in Power BI Web Portal now, all of our data. How do we get it to be able to see on our phone so that we can actually become more mobile? Well, we find out which chart we want from here, and you simply just click the little pin icon here. Now it's going to ask you, you want to pin to which dashboard? So I'm going to choose a new dashboard. I'm going to name it Power BI Dashboard. Third, whoops. Third try, click pin. Let's do the same with this one. No, we don't need to go to dashboard. She has to that. So here we're gonna click pin. I might have to move this. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's not letting me pin. There it is. Sometimes when the uh, visualizations overlap, Makes it hard to click the little pin icon. All right, so now we want to go up here to our Power BI dashboards. They're all up here at the top. We're going to do Power BI dashboard third try. And there you go. There is the one that we pinned. So we were not able to pin the other one just because it was overlapping. But from here, you can change the look of it. You can add our slicer. Let's go back and add our slicer. We've got to have our slicer. So let's pin our slicer. Oh, they're all overlapping, so it's hard to hard to get to, uh, to pin into our dashboard. But you get the gist of it. We'll be able to pin right to the dashboard and from the dashboard work with whatever that we have. Now, once you're on your dashboard, if you have Power BI free, the free version, you are not allowed to share this dashboard with anybody else. We'll not give you a link. We'll not let you. If you pay for the Power BI Pro version, 
you can share it with whomever that you like. So you can create your reports, your visualizations, show them to colleagues, coworkers, your boss, whoever it is. And the great thing is, as you update it in Excel, you go back to Power BI Desktop, and all you have to do is refresh, click refresh, and it'll automatically pull in your data from, from Excel and update this. You then publish it, and in Power BI Web Portal, all your dashboards will be automatically updated. So really all you have to do is three to four clicks after your data is entered in, in Excel, and everybody should be able to see everything, and it's absolutely wonderful. And this is what we call at Solution Systems, making your data dance. Obviously, it can become a lot more complicated. Some companies have millions of millions of rows of data, but this is the gist of it. So any questions or whatnot, contact us at Solution Systems, uh, info at solsys.com, or go on the website at www.solsys.com. Talk to you later.